it's our fault. We didn't care about them, so we have helped to create this phenomenon. I mean, yeah, people can say that, but I mean, like, that's kind of like the, that's just like the, the, the rhythm of politics throughout all of humankind, right? Like, arguably the left created Trump, for sure, but the left that existed before Trump, that was created by conservatives, for sure, mm -hmm. um, right? Like, the rab rabidly homophobic, the massive warmongering in the United States, um, the, the super anti-LGBT obsession, the, like, all of that stuff, of course, that created this fervent left that was like, oh, well, I hate you guys, like, we need to have gay marriage, and, you know, you guys are against abortion, well, yeah, so I mean, like, yeah, of course, both sides are, are reactions to what the other side is doing and that, that's not a new thing right like mm -hmm. trump being created as some radical left group of people in the united states I, yeah i believe that of course but like that radical left didn't come from nowhere either that was created out of radical conservatives for a long time too that's just how that that's the rhythm of politics right okay and if that is a rhythm of politics would you agree that things have become more heated now that things yeah, have sure. become more con yeah so i guess my question is to you as somebody who is obviously very intelligent and understands politics how do we take the temperature down? How do we get better candidates for America? Because I think we can both agree Biden and Trump don't represent the best of your country. Uh, well, Biden. <laughs> Biden's my guy. That guy represents a lot of good America. But um, obviously, as a Biden fan, I would say that. But uh, I, I would say that the, the number one issue that we have right now is probably the Internet. Um, it's mm -hmm. given us the mm -hmm. ability to self-segregate in ways that we never have before. Mm -hmm. I can hyper-fixate and find any piece of information that I want to support any story that I want. And then I can join another group of people and we can all share it amongst ourselves. And there are huge financial incentives for honing in on the pieces of information that people want and serving it to them. And I think all of these things kind of like play really toxically on, on human psychology and combined with capitalism, um, basically make this huge pot of gold waiting for anybody that can figure out how to serve you the most content that you want that agrees with what you already agree with over and over and over and over and over again. And I, yeah, I think the internet has like uniquely accelerated that problem. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, man. And we, we do our best to, to stay away from that when we can. And of course, it's very easy to look around and go, oh, there's somebody else who just wants to feed their, their audience red meat uh, all day long. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you answered very well for answers questions about where it's coming from, but you didn't answer how do we address it? What do you think? Um, uh, this is where I give you the answer that I shouted at you for giving me about the family stuff. I, I don't, it's a big problem. <laughs> so this is the number one issue. And the, so if you've ever, I agree, I agree. It's the number one issue, by the way. Well, no. Well, I, so here's a problem. Okay. In order to fix anything, first, you have to recognize what the problem is, but most people won't actually recognize the problem. Um, I'm 33. When I was a kid, uh, there was this idea that the internet was going to be this amazing thing because now you can look up whatever piece of information you want. You've got so much at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. A lot of the internet and the information age rests on this absolutely faulty idea that humans are intrinsically truth-seeking machines. And that is absolutely not true. We do not gravitate towards things that are true. We gravitate towards things that make us feel good. And as the internet gets larger and larger and more information is put out there, you know, people keep saying, well, the studies are available. There's Wikipedia, there's fact checkers, there's news sites, there's YouTube, there's all this stuff. You should know what's true and what's not true. It doesn't make any, the reason why that doesn't work is because people aren't seeking out what's true. They're seeking out what's entertaining or what makes them feel good about themselves. Well, are you not generalizing because I Look, I'm not, I, that is I, I, I am not perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. I am not perfect, and I mm -hmm. definitely like to have my opinions confirmed. But <laughs> one of the things we've really tried very